For more on Viacom's numbers and Sumner Redstone, the man at the helm, we are joined right now on the phone by Chris Morangi. He is the analyst from Gabelli and Company. Chris currently has a buy recommendation on Viacom. So, Chris, what do you make of the fact, I mean, the EPS numbers of Scarlet just telling us look great, but the company missed on sales. Was it more than just tough comparisons? Yeah, I wouldn't put too much weight in the fact that they missed on sales. Uh, they actually uh, did a little bit better than expected in the media network revenue uh, segment. That's where the value in this company is. Uh, but film entertainment, it's tough to estimate when uh, when revenues come in from, from releases and, and home entertainment. Um, I think uh, more important that advertising continues to improve and they continue to squeeze more earnings from the, uh, from the top line. Uh, what about MTV? I mean, it had the best ratings in two years. Hate to say it, but it looks like Jersey Shore is a hit. I mean, can they continue to count on programming like that? Yeah, they, there has been a pretty dramatic turnaround actually last year at, at BET, um, and it uh, slowed through to, to MTV. Um, you know, the ratings obviously are the lifeblood of, of any media company, and, and they're headed in the right direction today. Chris, this is Scarlett. Viacom had hinted that it would be cash loaded in the back half of 2010, and some had suggested it might take a cue from Time Warner and initiate a dividend. We didn't get that news in today's announcement, but could a dividend be far off? Yeah, I would look for them to either uh, to return capital either in the form of a dividend and or buybacks. Uh, company has historically uh, bought back a lot of stock, and, and we'd expect that. They're under-levered. Um, and, uh, you know, would expect that probably in the second half of their fiscal year. Chris, hard to talk about Viacom without talking about Sumner Redstone once again saying essentially he's going to live forever. Do we need to talk about what happens to the leadership? I mean, he is getting older. Right, he turns 87 next month. Um, you know, I think he's going to live a long time. He's seen a lot of uh, cycles, a lot of market cycles, a lot of cycles in the media. Um, but obviously, you know, one day, um, one day it will happen, and and the and the board will have to decide where Viacom goes next. What's the most likely scenario, Chris? Well, uh, one thing's for sure: uh, there'd be a lot of other media companies interested in in those properties. They've got great brands, um, great film library in Paramount. And we know it didn't show up uh, this time around, but How to Train Your Dragon, other big film hits seem to be helping out. What can we expect from the company for the rest of the year? Yeah, the slate looks good for the rest of the year. You never want to predict box office sales. Uh, that's, a, that's a fool's game. But Iron Man 2 looks like a, a sure thing. Uh, Shrek Forever, uh, which they're distributing, also should do well. And there's a lot of excitement about uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Last Airbender. All right, Chris, we thank you. Chris Marangi there joining us from Gabelli and Company.